Hello everyone, I'm Mohammed Hamama and welcome back to your ASCP preparation camp. Today, is the fourth and final episode of our clinical enzyme series. We'll dive into bone enzymes and other miscellaneous enzymes. Bone enzymes are a specialized proteins produced by bone cells, osteoblasts and osteoclasts. These enzymes are essential for bone formation and resorption. In this video, we'll focus on two primary bone enzymes, alkaline phosphatase, specifically the bone isoform, and acid phosphatase, tartrate-resistant 5B isoform. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update in your exam prep journey. Also, check out our store, it helps us keep creating great content for you. Alkaline phosphatase, or ALP, has different isoforms found in the bone, liver, and kidney. These are modifications of the same gene product, identified by their unique carbohydrate content. The bone isoform, produced by osteoblasts, is a key indicator of bone formation activity. Clinical Significance Genetic Disorder, Hypophosphatasia A rare disorder resulting from the inability to produce tissue nonspecific ALP. This leads to severe bone disease and impaired growth. Paget Disease Characterized by the highest concentrations of bone alkaline phosphatase, BAP. Levels can be 10 to 25 times the upper reference limit. 50% of the variance in ALP levels is explained by disease extent, and the rest by disease activity. Measuring total ALP is often sufficient for assessing bone turnover and monitoring Paget disease. Vitamin D deficiency. BAP levels are 2 to 4 times the URL and decrease slowly with treatment. Hyperparathyroidism Results in slight to moderate increases in BAP, indicating the presence and extent of skeletal involvement. Osteogenic bone cancer Very high BAP levels can indicate bone metastasis in 70% of prostate cancer cases. Chronic kidney disease, CKD Ctigo guidelines recommend measuring total ALP along with serum calcium, phosphate, and PTH in adults with a GFR less than 45 ml per min per 1.73 square meters. Osteoporosis Slightly increased BAP levels, but not clearly distinguished from age-matched controls. Bone fractures Transient increases in BAP levels during the healing process. Physiologic bone growth. Higher BAP levels are seen in children, reaching maximum levels earlier in girls. Methods for determination. Measurement. It's challenging to separate bone and liver ALP due to their structural similarity. They are measured by electrophoretic and immunochemical methods. Immunoassays are available but may cross-react with the liver isoform. BAP is stable at minus 20 degrees Celsius for up to two years. Reference intervals. For adults 10 to 50 units per liter, higher in women over 50 years. Children, 4 to 15 years, 54 to 369 units per liter. Men 7.5 to 26.1 microgram per liter, no age change. Women, increase postmenopause, URL. 22.7 microgram per liter premenopausal, 31.6 microgram per liter postmenopausal. Prepubertal, 6 to 7 fold higher than in healthy adults. Acid phosphatases, or ACP, are enzymes that function optimally below a pH of 7.0. They are found in lysosomes and many cells. The highest concentrations of these enzymes are in the prostate bone, specifically in osteoclasts, spleen, platelets, and erythrocytes. There are different types of ACPs. Lysosomal and prostatic enzymes are inhibited by tartrate ions, but erythrocyte and bone isoenzymes are not. The primary focus here is on the tartrate-resistant isoform, TRAP, mainly derived from osteoclasts. TRAP levels are increased in children in conditions with heightened osteolysis and bone remodeling. TRAP is a valuable marker in conditions that involve osteolytic activity, which is the breakdown of bone tissue. Here are some key conditions where TRAP levels are significant. 
Paget disease and hyperparathyroidism. These conditions show slight to moderate increases in tract levels. Osteoclastoma and osteopetrosis. High concentrations of tract correlate with the number of osteoclasts. Gaucher disease. Increased tract levels are due to the presence of abnormal macrophages. Hairy cell leukemia. While osteoclast type ACP is expressed, tract levels do not increase in plasma. Prostate cancer. Tract was historically used but has been largely replaced by prostate-specific antigen, PSA, for detection and monitoring. Other conditions. Unlike other bone resorption markers, tract levels are not affected by renal dysfunction. Assays. Continuous monitoring methods. These methods rely on the formation of a colored product from alpha-naphthol. Immunoassays. These are designed to preferentially detect the 5B isoform of TRAP. Solid phase format and FICEA. These methods are used for specific detection of TRAP. Serum handling. It's crucial to separate and acidify the serum immediately to maintain stability. TRAP is stable at room temperature for several hours, refrigerated for up to a week, and at minus 20 degrees Celsius for up to four months. Hemolyzed specimens should be rejected due to contamination. Reference intervals. Healthy adults. The normal range for tract levels in healthy adults is 1.5 to 4.5 units per liter. Children. The reference range for children is higher, from 3.4 to 9.0 units per liter. Miscellaneous enzymes include lactate dehydrogenase, cholinesterase, and lipoprotein-associated phospholipase A2. We will start with lactate dehydrogenase, or LDH, an enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of L-lactate to pyruvate using NAD as a hydrogen acceptor. This reaction can proceed in both directions, but it typically favors the conversion of pyruvate to lactate. Optimal pH. Lactate to pyruvate, 8.8 to 9.8. Pyruvate to lactate, 7.4 to 7.8. Specificity. Acts only on L-lactate and NAD, not on D-lactate. Structure. Composed of four peptide chains, M and H, controlled by genes on chromosomes 11 and 12. Inhibitors. Thioreactive reagents, borate, oxalate, and excess substrates. Location. Found in the cytoplasm of cells, tissue concentrations are much higher than in serum. Clinical significance. Serum LDH levels increase due to tissue damage or disease. Relevant conditions. Leukemia and lymphoma, significant in monitoring these diseases. Megaloblastic anemias, notable increases. Liver metastases, elevated in up to 70% of patients. Germ cell tumors, increased in about 60% of cases. Liver disease, predominant LDH4 and LDH5 isoenzymes, though clinical use is limited. Pleural effusions, helps distinguish exudative from transudative effusions. Macro-LDH, rare occurrence due to autoantibody enzyme complex. Methods for determination. Assays. Use kinetic spectrophotometry to measure NAD and NADH interconversion. Commonly employ the lactate to pyruvate reaction for stability and reliability. Specimen handling. Prefer serum over plasma to avoid platelet contamination. Avoid hemolyzed serum due to high LDH in erythrocytes. Store serum at room temperature or refrigerated, not frozen at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Reference intervals. Adults, 125 to 220 units per liter. Higher in children, decreasing with age. Methods for separation and quantification. Electrophoresis. Commonly used on agarose gels or cellulose acetate membranes. Reaction mixture layered over separation medium. Detection of NADH by fluorescence or colorimetric methods. Cholinesterase refers to two types of enzymes, acetylcholinesterase, 
true cholinesterase, and acylcholine acylhydrolase, pseudocholinesterase. Types Acetylcholinesterase Found in red blood cells, lungs, spleen, nerve endings, and gray matter of the brain. Hydrolyzes acetylcholine at nerve endings. Acylcholine acylhydrolase Found in the liver, pancreas, heart, white matter of the brain, and serum. Its exact role is unknown but proposed to deactivate octanoyl ghrelin. Enzyme activity Acetylcholinesterase, hydrolyzes choline esters. Acylcholine acylhydrolase, acts on benzoylcholine but not acetylbetamethylcholine. Inhibition Both enzymes are inhibited by prostigmine, physostigmine, and organic phosphorus compounds. Acetylcholinesterase is inhibited by acetylcholine at high concentrations, acylcholine acylhydrolase is not. Genetic variants Variants of CHE include EU, EA, EF, and ES, leading to different genotypes with varying enzyme activities. Genetic mutations can result in atypical or fluoride-resistant variants. Clinical Significance Liver Function Test Decreased CHE activity indicates impaired liver function. Insecticide poisoning, CHE activity drops before symptoms appear, a significant drop indicates poisoning. Surgical risk assessment, identifies patients at risk for prolonged muscle relaxation due to low enzyme activity. CHE and insecticide poisoning. Inhibition of CHE by insecticides like parathion and sarin can be fatal if not treated. Emergency treatment includes enzyme reactivators. CHE and muscle relaxants. Low CHE activity can lead to prolonged effects of muscle relaxants like succinylcholine, requiring mechanical ventilation. Preoperative screening for CHE activity is recommended in some countries. Methods for determination. Assays. Use acylthiocholine esters as substrates. Measure hydrolyzed product using chromogenic disulfide agents like Elman's reagent. Butyryl theocholine is preferred for automated instruments. Genotyping and characterization. Methods include measuring total CHE activity, dibucane number, and fluoride number. Molecular biology techniques can identify genetic defects. Sample handling. Serum is preferred, stable if refrigerated or frozen. Moderate hemolysis is acceptable if red blood cell ghosts are removed. Reference intervals. Healthy adults. Women, 33 to 76 units per liter. Men, 40 to 78 units per liter. Age and pregnancy. Lower at birth, increases during childhood, stabilizes at puberty. Decreases significantly during pregnancy and early postpartum due to hemodilution. Lipoprotein-associated phospholipase A2, or LP, PLA2, is a calcium-independent enzyme in the phospholipase A2 family. Nature and Production Produced by monocytes, macrophages, T-lymphocytes, and mast cells. Upregulated in atherosclerotic lesions, especially complex plaques prone to rupture. Function and Effects Promotes modification of oxidized LDLs. Cleaves oxidized phosphatidylcholine, generating lysophosphatidylcholine, lysopc, and oxidized free fatty acids. Lysopc acts as a chemoattractant for T cells and monocytes, promotes endothelial dysfunction, and stimulates macrophage proliferation, enhancing lesion progression. Clinical significance Association with disease Linked to future coronary and cerebrovascular events in several studies. The association is generally modest, hazard ratios, too. Controversy exists regarding its independence from LDL cholesterol. Clinical utility. No clear recommendation due to lack of definitive data proving its value over traditional cardiovascular risk factors. Reduction of LP, PLA2 alone has not been shown to improve clinical outcomes. Not an acute phase reactant, thus unaffected by systemic inflammatory processes. Testing methods. Manual ELISA, cleared by the FDA for cardiovascular risk prediction. 
Immunoturbidimetric method uses the same monoclonal antibodies available for automated analyzers. Threshold for higher cardiovascular risk, LP, PLA2 concentration above 200 micrograms per liter. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. Your support means the world to us. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below, we love hearing from you. Oh, and here's a little secret, check out our store for your next study outfit. Not only will you look great, but you'll also be helping us create more content like this. Win-win, right? See you next time, bye.